Hey everybody, it is pasta night. So today we're making a fruit and veggie pasta and it's a no cook sauce. So don't be scared. I know you think fruit and veggie pasta, that sounds weird. It's not, it's awesome. And you don't have to cook the sauce. So the only cooking you're doing is the pasta. Super easy. So we're gonna start in the bowl, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. So we're building the sauce in the bowl and we're just gonna pour the pasta in there and mix everything together. So let's say like you know, a good two or three tablespoons of olive oil. You're gonna wanna put some garlic, my famous squeezed garlic. So I'm gonna put maybe like a good tablespoon, probably like two cloves is good if you have fresh garlic, if you wanna chop that in there. So the garlic goes in and the capers go in. So capers are like little baby olives and they're so good and they give it like a nice salty, salty bite to the sauce. So the sauce has like all of the flavor components that you want. It's like sweet, salty, creamy, spicy, everything going on all at once. So it's really good. Um, this is just one jar of diced tomatoes. You can get regular diced, petite diced, whatever you want, and I drained it. So we don't want this to be too um, wet, basically. So it's kind of like a fresh pasta sauce. If a little juice gets in there, that's totally okay, but you don't want the whole contents of the can because it is a lot of juice. So we're just gonna put that in there. A little bit of salt and pepper. And you can also, Use fresh tomatoes for this if you want to. If you have some, especially in the summer that are in season that are really juicy, you can definitely chop those up. And I'm just gonna mix it with a spoon today, but if you have fresh tomatoes, you can go ahead and kind of do this stage and mix it with your hands just to kind of get those juices out and form like a little bit of a sauce in the bowl. So since these are canned and they already have a little bit of juice, we don't need to do that. We're good to go. We just wanna mix all of this together. And this is gonna be the base of our sauce. Now, got this. It's looking good already. Okay, let me put this off to the side. Now, we're basically going to just dump everything in and stir it up. So, this is my cooked pasta. I did eight ounces of pasta, which is a standard, um, a standard box is 16 ounces, so half a box of pasta, and I just drained it. I did reserve about half of half a cup of the pasta water, just in case this pasta gets a little bit dry, you can always add in a slight drizzle, which I'm gonna do just a little bit, and kind of mix that together to form a little bit of a sauce. It's gonna coat all the pasta and everything because it's got all the salt in there and everything. Give it some nice, good flavor. You always want to season your pasta water. Make it nice and super salty. All right, so we got veggies. We have cheese. This is fresh mozzarella cheese. This is eight ounces. These are like the little pearl cheeses. Super good, creamy. These you can just break apart. If you do get the, the package of cheese that's all in one, just dice it up into little bite-sized pieces. So that goes in. And now the fruit, nectarines. So you can use peaches or nectarines and just dice them up. This is two, two fresh nectarines that I diced up. You definitely want to make sure that you use some that are a little more firm. You don't want them super ripe, which I like to eat them super ripe. But if you're going to cut them and mix them up, you don't want it to be too mushy. And then they start to look ugly in your pasta and you want it to look nice and pretty because you have all these colors going on. It's looking good. You don't want to put mushy fruit in there. So, we're pretty much almost done. And I love dishes like this that are basically like no cook and the only prep is pretty much cutting up the peaches or the nectarines. And it also looks really impressive and all we do is pretty much dump everything into a bowl and mix it together. Love it. So now fresh basil. So you can either roll this up, slice it, like it's called chiffonade, slice into really thin strips and sprinkle it in, or you can just tear them. We're going rustic here. So we're just gonna rip up the fresh basil, stir it in, and we're gonna add in some pumpkin seeds. 
pepitas for some crunch. So you got the creamy, you got the crunchy, all kinds of textures going on. And we're gonna put this beautiful pasta over a bed of arugula. So let's say just like a handful. Looks good to me. And these amounts are just suggestions. If you want to add more of anything, if you want more nectarines, if you want more tomatoes, more cheese, whatever you want, go for it. My opinion, recipes are just a suggestion. So I kind of give suggestions and you can change it up however you like. So that's it, this is done and we're ready to eat. So this is just uh, a mix of arugula and baby spinach. So you put this down in the bottom of the bowl. We're gonna make this look super fancy and it's very easy to make, so I love that. So put this in the bottom of the bowl. I just tossed this with a fresh squeeze of lemon juice and a little bit of salt. That's it, so you wanna make sure you season it. You don't just wanna put just the greens just like this. You want them to have a little bit of flavor. So you put this in there and this will easily feed four people for sure. And I know when you, you know, when I first made this, I thought eight ounces of pasta, that's not enough, but you see how it grew with all of this stuff that we have in here, it's so good. So, just gonna pour it right on the top. And that is it. There we go. You guys can see, beautiful, fresh, fruity, cheesy, fruit and veggie pasta. Get the cheese, Capers, pumpkin seeds, tomatoes, greens. Mm. It's so good, you guys. You have to make this. This is perfect for, especially in the summer, when it's really hot because everybody loves pasta, but it's a really light dish. You're gonna feel super satisfied, but you won't be overly full. So, that's perfect. All right, you guys. Try it out, let me know what you think.